Hello, TSM families. We are so excited for summer camp and that your student is going with us this summer. In this video, we are going to cover the important information that you need to know and provide you the links below for the forms and even more information. First, remember to complete two forms before camp, one for student life and one's for Glorietta. Look below in the description for the links to both of these forms. You will receive both forms in an email after you register your student for camp. The student life form will ask for a registration ID, which is 81482. This will help pre-fill a lot of information in for you. For questions, please email us the next gen team at tsm at trinitybible.com. Payments for camp are due before July 1st. After you register, if you did not pay in full, you should receive an email with a link to pay the remaining amount. If you have any questions about your payment, email me at jspec at trinitybible.com. Be at the church on July the 9th at 12 a.m. Yes, we mean midnight. We will check in your students from 12 to 12.30, feed them pancakes, and then they will meet in their small groups with their leaders for a time of worship and prayer. Then we will load the buses and head out at 3.30 a.m. We are aiming to return around 9 p.m. on July the 13th. However, after our stop in Lubbock for lunch, we will be able to give you a more accurate time of arrival. Remember, with 113 people on this trip, our lunch stop in Lubbock will most likely take longer than the 45 minutes we have planned. So watch your text. We know that if you give them money, they will find a way to spend it. The only money that is required is for two meals, one on the way there and one on the way home. Think Chipotle or Chick-fil-A type restaurants. However, Glorietta Student Life Camp does have merchandise and a cafe to purchase things throughout the week. And Student Life will also collect an offering. Remember to pack for at least one water day for recreation. And when we say water day, we mean that there probably will be mud involved and clothes could get ruined. Also, each day we will be very active, so make sure that students have a refillable water bottle with them. That water bottle will also be needed on the bus as well, so make sure that your student brings that water bottle on the bus with them. For a packing list and the student life dress code, please see the parent packet linked in the description below. While your students will be allowed to have their cell phones on the bus to and from camp, we will be collecting cell phones once we get to camp. We feel this is an important part of camp for our students to build the connections and not have the phones as a distraction. Please help your students prepare for this ahead of time. Great things happened last year with the friendships that were made and we are praying the same thing happens this year. In case of emergency, feel free to call or text any one of our adult leaders. Our cell phone numbers will be included with the emails that you receive before camp. Students can keep their medications with them at camp. We will not collect them unless you feel more comfortable with us distributing the medication. If you want us to keep and distribute your student's medication, please put them in a gallon Ziploc bag with the student's name on it with typed detailed instructions inside the bag for when and how much medication to distribute. This will need to be turned in at the check-in table at midnight. Again, this is not a must, only if you don't want your student to have their medication. We are okay with your students having over-the-counter medications like Benadryl and Tylenol. We only need instructions for prescribed medication. Lastly, we're gonna send out emails throughout the week while we're at camp. The first will be a simple we have arrived email on July 9th. The emails that follow that will include information about each day's Bible study, teachings, and specific ways that you can be praying for us and your student while we're at camp. We cannot wait to see what God's going to do at camp. We are praying that He shows up and shows off. When you come to drop your student off, please do not be early. We will be using that time to prepare for the student's arrival. So please drop off as close to midnight as possible. When you arrive, come to the check-in table in the foyer of the student ministry building. We look forward to seeing you on July the 9th at 12 a.m.